He's going to be showing you a dance that is uh, originated by the Omaha. How many folks heard of the Omaha? How many folks heard of Omaha? Okay, well, it's the same thing, but the proper pronunciation is Omaha. They do a style of dancing that's known as the grass dance. Now, one of the stories behind this dance is when they're going to have a social like we're having out here today, it would be their job to find a suitable area where the dance is going to be held. After they found that suitable area, they had to prepare those grounds by doing a couple of different things. Now, first of all, they had to do something with that tall buffalo grass. Now, they wouldn't cut it down because that's a nourishment for the buffalo. The buffalo, in turn, was nourishment for their bodies, so they respected them in this manner. While dancing, they would push the grass over with their feet and dance on top of it until all the grass laid down nice and flat. Now, one good rain later, well, the grass would stand right back up and the buffalo had themselves a nice meal. It was also their job to pray while dancing because they were blessing those grounds so that only good feelings can be felt inside that circle. So if every blade of grass was pushed down by the grass dancer's feet, that meant that the whole area was blessed. After that ceremony was done, then the social can begin. Now in the Northern Territories, they still use this dance for that reason. Of course, it's not for the act of pushing down the tall grass and dancing on top anymore. No, we discovered John Deere tractors, so we just kind of mow it right over. But it's for those prayers, the important part, those prayers and for those blessings. They're the first ones into that circle, and after that ceremony is done, then the dance can begin. Now, if you look at his regalia, this is a more of a contemporary style of regalia. Long ago, the natural leather would have been used, and the fringe was buffalo grass, tucked into their belts, tied onto their leggings, and even held in their hands. As they danced, they would move their body in a manner mannerism that would give you the illusion of the wind blowing through that tall grass. As a cloth was introduced to our people, and because we love pretty things, we love beautiful colors, we like shinies, we started to incorporate that into our regalia. Now what took the place of that fringe was cloth that was cut into fringe. Also yarn and silk ribbon into our regalias to this day. But as he dances and even as he stands there as the wind blows, you still get that illusion of that wind blowing through that tall grass. The mannerisms of the dance steps. Mimicking, pushing down the tall grass and dancing on top of it. But because this has become a competition style of dancing in our powwows today, you have to have your own individual style. So every dancer out there, although they are doing the same dance, they have their own individual way of presenting that. So we're going to give him a good song out here. And uh, we'll give him a chance to give you his version and his style of the Omaha Grass Dance. Come on, let's bring him out here with a nice round of applause.